Youssef Fergigi, Blida, Algeria. Yes, my father uh, is, is winner, uh, good riders and strong riders. Before 20 years, he's a uh, winner in African champion in Kenya and uh, finished 21 in uh, Tour of Lapi in Europe. This is a hard, uh, hard race and uh, every time helped me and uh, he gave me a program for for training for uh, for race and every time say me I, I want you go professional this is for my father also and I want continue I want to continue career for my father and uh, I say name Rigigi no just for me just my father also I am professional this year and uh, after uh, before I work hard training hard race in Europe I stay in Switzerland three years and uh, I progression and uh, I race in Italy and uh, I winner one stage in Toscana and uh, I have good result this year I winner tour of Azerbaijan also and uh, I finish last year three in ZLM tour and I think it's hard hard training and long long time for me because I don't stay nothing in my home I am very happy for for this for this team this African team I, I have uh, contact before in Europe in French in Spain also in uh, in Asiatic and I prefer this team MT and Quebec is from Algeria uh, from uh, Africa and uh, this is uh, for me I open door for uh, another riders from Algeria and this is picture from my country also I want to win this year for uh, now just for me and another riders another riders for uh, for uh, support it MTN, I think it's Kobik a big uh, sponsor. I, I looking uh, before yesterday, is uh, give uh, people bike, uh, by city bike. I think it's uh, also uh, sponsor uh, from uh, hospital like this in South Africa. It's uh, very nice uh, MTN. Yusuf Regegi is a guy that we are looking so forward to throwing into the mix and seeing what's going to happen. Great sprinter, um, he's won many races this year for his continental team from Algeria and he's won races with, for the World Cycling Centre in Europe. He's an you know, under-23 Nations Cup winner this year and um, so I think he's our dark horse actually in terms of bunch sprints. He's one of the few riders from the continent of Africa that we've seen is really really fast and we look forward to really big results from him and uh, integrating him into the classics group as well as when we go to the stage races putting him into the stage races like the Tour de Langkawi I would say he could he could definitely win stages and surprise the European peloton because he he hasn't had many opportunities to race in Europe on a big team and um, I think this year he'll he'll come to the fore in those stage races.